What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi. Today I have another tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to conform footage from one frame rate to another, particularly high frame rate video. I used to have my camera do this in camera, but then I found out that it actually is bogging down the data rate to about 12 megabytes, which is pretty horrible. So I'm going to show you how you can do this in Premiere Pro and save yourself a lot of the stress. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be working with Premiere Pro per usual. And I'm going to start by bringing in my clips. These are, I believe, 120 FPS clips. This is a fairly quick tutorial, but what you want to do is start by highlighting all your clips. And you're going to right click and come down to modify interpret footage. When you get to here, you're going to notice that the prompt is going to show you what your current frame rate is. This is 120 FPS or 119.8 or whatever it is. And what I want to do is slow this down to real time, which would be 23.976. And then you're just going to click OK. Now if you drag your clips into the sequence, you're going to notice that they are automatically slow, well not automatically, but they are slowed down to 23.976 frames per second. This was just a little macro thing that I shot. Nothing major. It actually came out cooler than I uh, had expected. But um, another way you could do this is by speeding or slowing down, I meant. The duration, so if you did Command R and you came into the duration when it is in 120 FPS or it's in its high frame rate, um, and you slowed it down to real time like that but I just think this way is much easier and sometimes if you want to use warp stabilizer or something and you change the duration in the sequence then you're really gonna limit yourself because I don't believe Premiere will let you do this if you uh, haven't nested the clip also it's going to avoid the big issue of a huge data rate loss which I noticed tremendously with my other footage like I said, my camera slows down the footage in camera and I was losing a lot of data rate in that process. If you have a Sony Alpha mirrorless camera, I suggest that you check that or really any camera that um, slows down your footage in camera. Another tool that you could use is Twixter. I personally am not the biggest fan of Twixter unless it's necessary in, in a case where I didn't actually shoot for a high, high frame rate footage and I want to make up for those frames um, that's when I will use Twixter uh, simply because Twixter is just doesn't really still does not really work that well with Premiere Pro um, it's much better in After Effects and other programs um, nothing bad about Twixter it's just uh, for some reason it still isn't working that well with Premiere Pro hopefully that changes because it really is a fantastic tool but that's pretty much it and how you can conform and slow down the footage by interpreting it into Premiere. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you got anything out of it. Also, make sure to like my Facebook page and follow me across social media. I'm going to be posting a lot in the upcoming year. Make sure to check back here. I'm going to be posting a video editing organizational tutorial. Just pretty much showing you how I keep everything organized. I find it really important with video editing. So stay tuned. Thank you.